In this video, we're going to continue to look at trends, and we're going to be, uh, begin with electron affinity. And you can think of electron affinity as the opposite of ionization energy. It's the amount of energy an atom gains if it gets a new electron, while ionization energy was the amount of energy uh, we had have to put in to remove an electron. So usually energy is released. So a metal plus one electron goes to m minus one plus uh, electron affinity energy. It's, like I said, generally exothermic energy leaves. It could be endothermic though for some atoms. Um, the more energy that's released, the larger the electron affinity. That is, the more the atom wants that electron. The more negative number, the bigger Ea. And the trend for electron affinity aren't as nice as ionization energy, but we'll look at some of them. Uh, first, for alkali metals, as we go down the group, electron affinity decreases. So uh, hydrogen really wants an electron, rubidium not as much. Um, as we go across a period, they generally increase, but there are a lot of exceptions. Um, one exception is 5A has a lower electron affinity because the electron the extra electrons have to pair with something and if you want to see that for yourself uh, draw the electron configuration um, same thing for two and eight uh, they have very low electron affinity because you have to go into a higher energy uh, shell to add an electron again draw out the, your configuration to prove this for yourself and the lowest, and it says highest, but the most favorable electron energy in any period is a halogen. They really want that electron to become like the noble gas, to full, have a full octet in their valence shell. Okay. The other trends we're going to look at are metals and nonmetals. So let's just begin with properties of metals. So metals are malleable and ductile, that is, you can bend them. Uh, shiny and they reflect light, conduct heat and electricity. Um, most uh, oxidize basic and ionic uh, reactions. Um, they form cations and they generally lose electrons or oxidize. And nonmetals are just the opposite. Um, they're brittle, they're dull, um, they do not conduct electricity or heat. Um, they're usually acidic and molecular. Um, they form anions and polyatomic anions, and they generally gain electrons or are reduced. And if you look at the periodic table, if you go down a period, or down a column rather, your metallic character increases. While you go from left to right, your metallic period or your metallic character decreases. So that's why we have earth metals alkali metals over here on this part because we're on this side of the periodic table. And why do we have these metal trends? Well metals have um, small ionization energies while nonmetals have large electron affinities. Right. So for an anode's metallic character you should increase as you go down a column um, because ionization energy decreases, and that's what we said. And it should decrease as you go from left to right because ionization energy increases. Valence electrons are held more strongly. And that's it for metals um, in the trends of the periodic table. Again, as always, if you have questions, let me know. Um, otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.